good afternoon. Yesterday, or was it this morning? Sorry, I read this article written by Wong Chun Wai. You probably know him, a well known journalist, a man of great influence. He wrote something called By the Book in his Facebook, and it was carried by the star, naturally. He wrote about many things, about MACC's investigation into the Code of Ethics. He spoke about, he wrote about Azalina's response. He wrote about conflict of interest. He wrote about the Chief Justice's reaction to the episode. But I'm not going to answer him all of that. Not now, at any rate. Maybe later. But what I'm interested to respond to him is this statement of Mr. Y about the pardon. Looks to me like he's canvassing very strongly why Najib should not be pardoned. I, I read parts of his writings. Okay? He says this. This is not just about Najib. It's about not creating a precedent where a dissenting judgment, if accepted, could overturn the ruling of the majority. Or worse, set the motion of an immediate pardon. I wonder if the politicians supporting his, this move have given serious thought about what they are pursuing, the implications of it all. Well, Mr. Chun Wai, I have given a lot of thought to this, and this is where you are wrong. A pardon is an exercise of prerogative of mercy. It's personal to the king. It's personal to the head of state. It is not about majority, minority. It is about justice. If you want to rely on the views of the majority or the unanimous decision of the judges, then we don't need a pardons board then. Because everyone in prison would have been convicted by a majority or unanimous decision. So you see, Mr. Chunwa, it has nothing to do with numbers. It's about truth. It's about justice. When the great prophet Muhammad brought the message to Mecca, he was a dissenting view, what he thought about life, about God, about life, about the true religion. A, he was a minority view. The Quraysh could not accept him. So the truth is nothing to do with numbers. Numbers are only relevant in the election. Okay? Okay, the second point I want to say, and I, think, and I think he got it all wrong again. He almost gave a warning to the king. This is what he said. He said that the ruler, the, our king, the Yadi Pitanaga, will retire by January 2024. And I'm paraphrasing him. It's basically saying, suggesting to the king that you should not make the wrong decision because your legacy will be affected. My goodness. How could he say this? The king would not just look at or listen to any judgment or the views of the attorney general or the views of the prime minister or the views. He would listen to his conscience. The king is the fountain of justice. He would listen to himself first. He would not care whether it's a popular or not popular decision. He's not a politician. So there is no need to remind him about his retirement or his leaving the, 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 the position in 2024. There is no need to do that. I am sure the king would do what is right for the country, for justice. Chun Wai talked about convention many times in his article. 
He said, it's a convention that you don't get a pardon until you serve some years in prison. But this is not a normal case, Mr. Chun Wai. It is also not a convention that people will be convicted and sent to jail without a lawyer. Is that normal? It is also true that in this country and many countries in the Commonwealth, if you have a serious conflict of interest, you will not deal with the case. You will not decide on the case. You will not sit on the case, let alone send someone to jail. So Chun Wai, this is not a normal convention, okay? Don't talk to me about convention. You can only talk about justice on this case. Was Najib denied a fair trial? Was there a miscarriage of justice? The king only needs to ask that question. And the king can ask anyone he wants. The king can ask anybody. And he's not, he must not be worried about the implication. And he's not worried about the implication. Chun Wai talk about implications. Implications only if you fail to do justice in this country. That's a serious implication. And I'm glad, I'm glad that the Prime Minister will be there too, um, in the, uh, as part of the Pardons Board. Because if anyone would understand what is miscarriage of justice, what is fair trial, what is justice, what does denial of justice mean, he will be the one to understand that. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much for now. But I will respond to other issues raised by Chun Wai or whoever wants to raise with me. I'm open. Thank you very much.